welcome to another Maglogo video and uh, it's raining outside, it's wet, uh, bad weather currently so I kind of fly so I thought that I will do a small, small tutorial and talk about um, differential thrust on uh, my planes or on some of my planes. Um, I like to use it on my twin tractors. Uh, of course you need uh, more motors to use differential thrust and I would just want to explain you know the difference between uh, flying without like bank and yank and uh, having a differential thrust on a plane compared maybe to also to a plane with with a rudder um, because basically that's what you're mimicking with uh, with a differential thrust kind of so um, this is uh, the example plane that I'm using to, to talk about it. Uh, this is my, um, my glider that I set up with a twin, twin tractor setup. Um, it's powered through an AIO, uh, but each motor can be, of course, can be um, uh, basically adjusted, not adjusted, but can be powered uh, differently. Because you have four outputs, you can basically um, have them run with different thrusts like a quad and that's what we are uh, what we are doing with uh, differential thrust um, this is actually a setup or a small thing that you need to configure in INAF um, but let's first talk about you know the the benefits of it or what I think makes it uh, worthwhile flying what I what I like about it and maybe also the downsides so if you fly a plane, let's say with one motor or with two motors that are basically not set up with differential thrust, that means the, the, the motor or the motors will of course pull always at the same or try to pull at the same with the same power and with the same thrust. So basically the, the plane is, is, is pushed or is, is pulled basically in, um, in one direction. And um, some planes have, have got a rudder this one not, like a, a Ranger, uh, maybe a Penguin or um, also this, they have uh, a stabilization through, through basically the rudder but it's not a, a adjustable, not a usable rudder. So basically, um, what the rudder does is, um, if you if you turn, you you basically also have the, the yaw that you can steer with the rudder. This is the sideways motion, which uh, with a bank and yank you turn, and uh, the plane basically because of the lit lift, it's it's going. Uh, it's going into the curve and you can adjust this by uh, by using the the up and down the elevator if you banking more and pull the elevator it will go very it will make a very narrow bend you also lose a lot of speed and it's kind of for me it's uh, how do you call it not so in uh, it's intuitive and it's maybe like flying with one joystick but uh, you don't have as much control to do like coordinated turns with with a rudder which was meaning uh, you basically put it into an angle and then you also use the rudder to adjust the yaw um, you can uh, have the plane fly uh, a nicer curve or can adjust the curve by using the yaw and also more or less bank and so basically you can mimic that by using differential thrust let's say if you fly and you you want to go to this side or you just want to yaw then yaw to the to the right side this side here you would speed up this motor and uh, this one um, or that's how the INF does it if you are uh, applying 30% throttle this will spin with 30% throttle and if you apply uh, left and then uh, left yaw then this motor will speed up and you can adjust the rate how much it it will speed up um, basically just a little bit then you just have a very slight yaw effect that you that where you have, a, have to apply a, a lot of stick input to the yaw or you can apply uh, basically I think it's one to one even and then it will it will have more yaw input and that can be adjusted of course but the thing is you basically mimic mimic the rudder that you would have it it is not fully the same it's not 100 percent the same um like for example with a with a plane that has a has a, um, enough speed and enough um how do you call it also authority for the for the rudder for a real one if you would basically fly like this and you would 
put, uh, apply um, yaw fully or just a bit, you can basically fly like this sideways. And with differential thrust, that is not that easy. Or for my planes, it doesn't work that well um, because the, uh, the the plane just wants to 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 spin or to to pull, you know, to twist them in, in in this direction more than it than it will hold that. I haven't. I've tried it a little bit, but I, that's basically also what I've seen. One of the difference, uh, if you would have a rudder, um, but otherwise it's it's fairly similar how it works. Um, I hope this doesn't confuse you, <laughs> but um, there are slight differences because, of course, the rudder is always applied and it needs wind, so it means uh, as, uh, as slower you have less authority, faster you have more authority, and with uh, differential thrust, it's basically you can fly very slow and uh, you can apply uh, quite a lot of differential thrust, and uh, it has more authority when you're when you're flying slow as long as you apply the throttle. If you're on zero throttle, the differential thrust will not do anything. So that means if you're just gliding, you can push the yaw sticks and it, it will not yaw any uh, because the, the motor will, won't speed up. It's zero throttle, zero throttle. But if you have 10%, then you, you will have the, uh, the, the authority and it will speed up the motor and you can basically yaw to left or to right. So, um, for me, the benefit of these setups with differential thrust is uh, it is similar to flying a quad because you also have yaw, you know, for turns, and you can really um, do small adjustments. If you want to hit the gap or something, you can fly towards it and you can really adjust the plane. Or if you fly, let's say, uh, like in a um, in a in a space that is quite small where you want to you know not go to go much too much to the left or to the right where you want to to or fly in a tunnel like something like that or there would be wind coming from the side then uh, with a with a bank and yank plane they would you would have to fly like this and it was sideways that the plane basically keeps flying straight with a plane that can apply yaw you can maybe bank just a little bit and use the yaw to compensate for that so it's much it's, it's much easier staying straight you don't have to go left right or so to align for to go through a gap so you just go point the plane towards a gap and then you can adjust slightly with yaw and hit the gap nicely that's for me the benefit that's why i say i can fly much much more um um, accurate with it, but it needs more input. Of course, it needs more more um, uh, coordinated inputs, and uh, you just need to get used to it. You know, because planes, if you're used to flying a plane with uh, with a rudder, then it's no issue. Then you're used to that because it's just one axis more that you can control, and that's also the the benefit that I see. Um, that's why I'm also flying it with uh, differential thrust and that's why I also love it. Um, but of course, I also like bank and yank planes, like wings or so, um, for me, that is, that is a lot of fun. Um, but they, they also have a lot of authority, you know, the, the wing has, a, has quite a lot of lift, so you can, you can fly it very nicely. So it doesn't, I mean, all planes are fun, that's of course. Uh, it's not a, something that is, a, you have to have, but just if you can, if you want to try it out, and uh, that's uh, the next point that we're looking at how to set it up in INAV um, using INAV uh, 8.00 to show you. And that's just the way I set it up. There's a, there's more ways, but that's how that's how I learned it um, from a guy that is uh, that also had set it up on the on the Penguin and is doing uh, uh, high alpha flights and so with it has a lot of control, so I learned it like that and that's quickly what I'm showing you. So basically what we are looking at is uh, now the INAF setup, how you can uh, get your plane to, or if you want to try it, how you can set your plane up with differential thrust. That's just the way I'm doing it, there's more ways, there's not just one, um, but I find this uh, an easy way and it's uh, you know, kind of logic. So. Uh, you connect the plane to, to INAV, I'm using the T1 Ranger and um, basically this is INAV 8.00, so the newest. And as you can see here, there's only one motor that it shows, doesn't matter, that's just the, the graph. Um, I've got the elevator and I've got the, um, the roll axis, basically. Um, in the mixer, you can uh, see here uh, S1, S2, that's uh, the motors. 
uh, the two of them and um, you can also see here the I think I've set up F-line without rudder and just with the, with the axis that I'm using. So for differential thrust, what you need to do is uh, if you have two motors, you um, basically here with the motor, you add the mixer, uh, second one. And that's the one or two that I've got. I've already set this up. And what you now do is um, on the yaw axis, you put the input minus seven and minus, and uh, sorry, minus 0 0.7 and uh, 0 0.7 and this needs to be um, this needs to be uh, on the opposite of each other you also need to figure out which motor um, is, is basically which so that when you do the inputs that the right motor is spinning up so if it's if you yaw to the to the left which means this side here on the plane the right motor needs to speed up if you yaw to the right the left motor needs to speed up and you just need to set the mixer up that this this minus 0 0.7 or minus or, or 0 0.7 on the other side are set correctly if it's if it's upside down you can turn it around there or you can um, uh, uh, connect the motors differently uh, it should basically both work and um, that should give you then the right input. You can you know, just test it with the throttle um, by applying 10%. Of course, remove the props before testing that. That's important. Apply 10% and the yaw input uh, should then speed up the motor on the opposite side. So left, the right motor should speed up. Right, the left motor should speed up. So that's how we check that it's, that it's working correctly. Um, another thing that you need, or not need, that I um, did uh, is in the tuning. Uh, that's basically when you uh, look at the pits. Um, what I changed was uh, also the yaw, because I do not want to have stabilization on the yaw axis. I want that these motors are really put uh, putting in the, the power that I apply on the on the yaw, so the yaw axis won't won't be uh, stabilized because I think that doesn't work anyway, or not as, as I could see. And basically, how you do it is you set the proportional, the integral and the der derivative uh, to zero, and you push the feed forward to 255, as you can see here which um, takes out the, any, any stabilization, stabilization or so from the FC for that. And that's how you basically have the full authority for uh, the, um, for the uh, differential thrust. Um, that's basically the setup for in, in INF. You can save that and just try it out. Um, I would, I would also uh, always recommend you know to check again if you've done everything, if it really does the correct things. Uh, if you apply throttle, both motors should spin up equally. And if you then up, uh, apply the yaw while they're spinning, not at zero because at zero there will nothing be happening. But if you if you apply throttle just a little bit, then the yaw should actually um, always push the opposite, so the plane really does what you want and that's the yaw then and then you know just fly what you will notice when you fly is if you just um, roll your plane like this it will not go that much into a into a curve anymore um, it will need now with the input of the outside motor so you need to apply roll and then also follow up with the yaw you know to to uh, induce roll and uh, this is maybe something that is uh, a little bit weird for for somebody at the beginning, but for me it's it's intuitive because I also fly quads, so you also turn with bows there, and you do it the same with the plane, and you now have much more uh, much more um, uh, how do you call it um, accuracy to um, to uh, steer the plane and to get the plane into into the right uh, um, position where you want to set it. Additionally, there's also some tricks and so also some you know uh, crazy things that you can do. Like uh, the fun thing is if you if you let's say if you push up, go into a steep steep climb, then you can what you can do is you go back with the throttle to maybe 20 percent, 
push full or push left full on the on the the yaw, which will speed up the motor and the plane will do like this will turn upside down if you it needs a little bit of practice but you can you can do climbs you know like go over stuff do like this and come down like this because basically with another plane uh, of course it's it's harder without a, a rudder you cannot do that this is these are some formations or some just tricks you can also spin it if you if you set it up enough um, you can also um, you know induce spins that it does like this such things you just need to try it out but i would try it out once you're comfortable flying and you're high up enough and everything and um, basically that's that's the the fun part of of also of the um, different thrust um, for those I hope that try it uh, you know good luck and have fun for me it's it's uh, it's well worth it and it's it's kind of you know I, lo I love flying the planes like this and um, you know it just makes it more fun but yeah hope you you um, could learn something about this and have fun flying with your planes okay have a wonderful day see you later and bye bye